Each of these cameras offers a field of view of around about 24 millimeters. Today we ask the question, what do these numbers mean? Hi, I'm Tim. And I'm Tuki, and welcome to Learn TV. Today we are going to talk about the numbers that you see on your lens, okay? So complicated. Not complicated stuff, <laughs> but fun stuff. So th there's three main things with lenses uh, that we want to talk about today. Uh, lens quality and belt quality, uh, focal length and aperture are some of the stuff that you will see with lenses. So first, quite quickly, just regarding you know lens quality, uh, you know if you buy a, a entry level point and shoot like for example this one here, you'll see that it just says like Sony lens. Um, if you didn't know, Sony actually has you know other type of lens. And this is not for this camera, but no, this is more for our you know top of the range cameras. But we uh, Sony have really quality lens like Sony G lens and Carl Zeiss lenses as well. So the build quality is the first thing that you'll you know you will find out about the so lens. So sort of clarity and reduced distortions and all those kinds of things. Right? I, I, absolutely. Like I'm not going to spend too much time on the the build quality, but. Obviously, if you buy a, a high quality lens, you will have a you know, better image, which is the first thing that you'll notice. Now, the second thing that you, you, we want to talk about today is focal length. Okay? Right. So focal length um, is, is quite important um, just because it, it's all in relation to like, your field of view of how much you can capture of the image. So you know, either a wide angle lens or what they call telephoto, so getting closer to, to the actual action. Right, okay? so it's, it's what people think of as sort of zoom and stuff. It's absolutely, the, it is. It how is. much the camera can actually see. Right? Absolutely, so what we're going to do is we'll, we'll show you quickly, um, you know, focal length is, is measured uh, in millimeters. Um, and think about it this way, 50 mil, uh, a 50 mil lens is, is pretty much your field, you know, human's field of view. Is so if you grab a 50 mil lens uh, and you took a photo, it's pretty much what you can actually see. Uh, but if, for example, uh, you know, you have a, a shorter focal lens, uh, length like a, a 16 mil, this is where you started to have that, you know, wide angle uh, shot, so you can capture more of the scenery. And on the other side of the spectrum, uh, obviously, uh, a long focal length uh, is what you know. It's called telephoto. So if you want to zoom right in and, and get the action, okay? Right. So that's what focal length is, and this is we, we're going to come back on, on how you know how you read that on on the lens as well. Yeah. So so that tool is available on the the Sony Digital Imaging .com website if you want to check it out. But um, the the other thing that we're talking about here is aperture. Aperture. Yes. Right? Aperture. So um, the the key thing to remember at the moment is that when we're a Referring to these things, we're talking about what's something called 35 millimeter equivalents. Yep. So um, this is an old film lens, so it's actually quite a good uh, analogy for that, you know, 35 millimeter thing, because we're talking about, you know, film which was 35 millimeters. When we when we talk about aperture on the lens, we're talking about the size of that opening. So you can see, I'm, I'm actually just changing the aperture here from a very small opening yep. to a very large opening. All right. If I take off that back cover, you'll be able to see even better. Oh, sweet. All right. So you can see it essentially affects the amount of light that comes in there. Yep. And a key thing to understand about aperture is that it is a ratio. So on this lens, it's pretty simple because this is uh, what's called a prime lens. So yep. it's got a fixed focal length of 50 millimeters. Oh, so that's what I was talking about yeah. before, that 50 mil yeah, is 50 that, mil. you know, like so field you, of view. Yep. You put this lens on one of Sony's full frame cameras or you put this lens on a film camera and you're going to get 50 millimeters uh, in, in terms of your field of view. And you're going to get f in this case, 1.8. Uh, as your aperture. The aperture is a ratio. So that means that if you've got 50 millimeters and f1.8, it, it determines the size of the opening. So if we just flick out our, our calculator yep. here, nice. I can show you what that means. So here you go, here's 50 millimeters. All right, and we're just going to simply divide it by, whoops, not 2.8, by 1.8. All right. Yep. Um, and that is the actual diameter of the circle in there. So around about 28 millimeters. So, you know, you can measure it's, it's about there. Um, oh, I see. Yep. In the circle of the opening. Okay. Now, as I said, this is a simple version because it's designed for 35 millimeter film. Where it gets more complicated is when you start to get into compact cameras that have got smaller Correct. than 35 millimeter sensors. Uh, absolutely, Tim. So, so, for example, here, uh, if we have a look on this camera, I'm just oh. going to go aside. Yeah, thank you. So, if we have a look on, on this camera here, um, you know, that entry level camera I was talking about before, if you have a look at the bottom down here, it actually has two numbers. 
So 4.43 to 17.7, okay? So now the, the two numbers is because it is a zoom uh, lens, so you actually have two numbers instead of right. a fixed lens. So you it's, had, it's wide to tell you. Exactly, because yeah. you, had, you had 50 mil, which is fixed, so mm -hmm. you can't zoom in with your lens. But with this one, you, you actually have a, a zoom lens. But now the numbers, as you can see, are, are quite small. They in seem relation. pretty wide. Yeah, they, they seem pretty wide. The, the reason for that is because um, it, the, the, the focal length is affected by the, the size of the sensor, basically. So if right. you have a, a smaller sensor, there's a couple of different things that actually happen. And I am going to do a oh, quick yeah, drawing. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, we so, so to give you an idea, um, if you look at something like, say, about a 7 millimeter lens, that would be 180 degrees. Yeah, um, so pretty wide. So, you know, on a 35 millimeter camera. So we're talking about very wide, and you actually start to get into quite a lot of distortion there as well, something called fish eye. Um, so you actually, you know, so this camera, we're talking about something that's, that's almost Half, half exactly five. Yeah, end. if, so if you think about five mil, that that looks extremely wide. But yeah. we we yeah. Let let me just do a bit of a drawing. So what we what we have here, uh, the three main cameras that we have here, uh, we have like a point and shoot. Uh, we have uh, an RX10, which is one of the new cameras, but it's a, a one inch type sensor. And at the end here, uh, we have a full frame, so 35 mil. Uh, you know what the pros use uh, a larger type of sensor. So first thing I'm going to do is just draw. Um, the, the type of sensors that you have between the three. So um, that point and shoot, the sensor will be really, really small. So roughly that size. Uh, this camera right here, the one inch type, uh, will, you know, one inch will look roughly maybe like that, okay? And a full frame, which is 35 mil, is actually quite a, quite a large sensor. So I'm gonna draw this, you know, roughly like that. Okay, here we go, 35 mil, okay? okay. So those are three different sizes of sensor. So let me try to explain quickly what you know. What do we mean by 24 mil, and why is it is a bit different between the three cameras? So this lens here on the full frame, we're going to take that as you know our basis. Uh, it, it's 24 mil from the actual sensor. So if I actually uh, grab a pen here and if I measured uh, 24, here we go. Here, make a dot. Uh, and I have the full sensor, so if I actually draw this from here roughly to here, okay, this is how wide, uh, actually my, my field of view, that wide angle lens I was talking about, this is how wide on that sensor, 24 mil from, from the actual sensor. Now, let's pretend that we had that exact lens on a smaller sensor and we'll see what actually happens. Okay. So on a one inch type sensor, if I had 24 mil, so same thing, so measure it up, and then I go 24. As you can see, the sensor is smaller. So, you know, from edge to edge, if I draw this right from here and then from here to here, okay, you can see already that it will not capture it's the same. A lot narrower. Yeah, yeah, a lot narrower. And same thing. So, we'll do the same thing with, with the, the, the smaller sensor. So, 24 uh, from here to here and from here to here. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> Uh, it gets even smaller and smaller. Okay, right. so this this was if we had the same lens on all three cameras, um, you uh, being 24 mil from the actual sensor, uh, you can see that on a 35 mil uh, sensor you have that wide angle lens. But as the sensor gets smaller, it get, the focal lens like in some ways get higher and higher. It's like you zoomed in basically. Yeah. yeah. So so these as you can see these are much smaller lenses. Um, and they have much wider focal lengths because of this factor. So this one here, um, as you know, we know here this is 24 millimeters at its widest point, so we know what that one's going to be. This one actually is 8.8 .8 millimeters. Yep. So instead of saying 24, if we instead measure out to 8.8, .8, which is around about sort of there, yep. um, and we draw those same lines, I'll just center it a bit. <laughs> Don't make such a, a hash of it. Okay, so there you go, we'll just draw those lines um, down through there. All right, um, and then we do the same thing with this one. This one, uh, as we were talking four, about before, 4.4. 4. 4. 4. Okay, so that's even narrower again. So it's somewhere around there, and we'll draw those lines. So now you start to see how this gets worked out. We can get, you can see, we get roughly. Uh, I mean, I haven't drawn 
very well. Obviously, these are not perfectly sized. Yeah, yeah exactly. But, but, um, but you can start to see how this works in terms of being able to produce the same angle of view yep. with a much smaller, smaller sensor, sensor, which is quite good. So then the next question is, how is aperture actually affected by this, I guess, too? Yeah, so aperture. So as, as we mentioned before, like we, we just kind of you know, take a, a, a quick example uh, just with F f2 which is quite a, a wide aperture yeah uh, and as tim mentioned before you know on a 15 mil it, it is actually a ratio so if i put a, a piece of paper here and we actually have on this uh, lens right here f2 uh, so that was 24 mil so i'm just going to write here 24 mil and it was f2 which means that we divide this by two which Maybe is 12, 12 mil yeah. yeah so roughly 12 mil so if i go from here to 12 which is here this is the actual size of the opening that you're going to have on the lens. Yeah. Okay. Now on a smaller sensor, as we, as you mentioned before, this was actually 8.8 mil. So an F2 um, opening will be that divided by two, which is 4.4. So if I drew this 4.4, which will be this, so that will be the opening for F2 for this lens and that sensor. And here uh, we were talking about that, uh, that other sensor, which was, um, 4.4 4, uh, mil, okay, for the for the same uh, focal length, focal yep. length, and that will be 2.2 2 divided, you know, divide that by two, and so it will be roughly like that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, w one thing I guess it's worth highlighting here is that you know these. Uh, these circles, obviously, you can see how it correlates down the range, but um, you'll notice immediately that this lens is certainly big enough to have a much larger circle absolutely and, and the reason for that is that this lens is actually 24 millimeters to 70 millimeters so it's got a zoom range yeah but throughout that entire range it's actually fixed at f 2.4 okay so it's a it's a really high quality 2.8 oh sorry f 2.8 <laughs> um so it's a very high quality lens um and and what that means is that you still need to be able to retain that aperture of f 2.8 yeah even at the 70 millimeters so what that means is that circle still needs to be if we go back to our calculator, calculator again yeah. so 70 millimeters divided by the 2.8 that we were talking about so you still need to have 25 millimeters um even you know even when you're out at so at full zone, yeah right? so it falls into 25 so if we measure now 25 which is from here to here have a look at the the size of the opening yeah and that's for 70 that was for 70 mil yeah okay. so it starts to make more sense in terms of why these cameras have got much bigger lenses in order to be able to reproduce um, you know these very fine high quality images and let lots of light in even when you're at full zoom yeah that makes perfect sense yeah so Obviously, this is complicated stuff, but hopefully, we've given you a bit of an overview um, and to you know and helped you to understand a little bit more about what those numbers on the front of your lens actually mean uh, with regards to focal length and aperture. We're going to be covering aperture and uh, and shutter speed and some other aspects uh, in some upcoming episodes as well. So keep an eye out for those things. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.